Hello and good morning. I'm Tyron Farmer, and on today's video, I want to give you a proper update. And before I go into that update, I want to tell my friend Daniel, thank you for these containers for my birthday gift. I really love them, and they were they were really serve a great purpose. And while we're speaking on purposes, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. To you, it might seem small, but I promise it's so major for me. Now, let's get into the video. Taking our time, we're going to start with the very one in the back, right over here. This is my Chilean wine. I handpicked every grape in this wine. I chose to go with the lights off because I think it accentuates the lights in front of it. But with this Chilean wine, it took about a month and a half to create. And after the curation, it's been setting almost close to three years. Then, I want to take you across the pond right here to something even older which is a blueberry wine and I'll tell you a little bit of a story that it took so long to you know really get it perfect of creating blueberry wine that I had to go through at least two iterations before the third and I got it right this blueberry wine is, is full body it's very elegant flavorful and you can eat it with darn near anything desserts uh, fish, steak, spaghetti. I mean, seriously, even some candy. You would love it. I'm going to go right, right here. This is my red wine. This red wine is very mystical, very fun, uh, bouncy on the flavor. And it goes so great with salmon, all types of fish, even some potato. I think you would really like that a lot. Uh, I'll tell you the truth, the alcohol by volume is about 11%. To go over here, back across the pond because I didn't say it, this Chilean wine is so frisky, so smooth, that really, I always like to serve it chilled myself. And I like it to warm up and give you that bubbly feeling. But it's very elegant and very delicious. And this alcohol by volume, to be honest, is about 13%. Now, see over here. Oh, don't let me forget. Lest I forget, this is my very first time doing this one. This is a orange wine that I made from total oranges, and I squeezed the heck out of that juice to get it right. I went slightly lighter on the sugar, and but you know, full full on steam on the process. I really took my time. I started this one in July. And we, here we are at the very, very tail end of August, and this came out perfect. It's much lighter. The alcohol by volume was about 8%, but I think you would really like it. And hey, buddy in the back, sitting up there trying to get away from us. This wine right there, that is my pineapple wine. Truthfully, very flavorful. Slightly more drier than usual. Uh, not overly high in acidity very strong uh, and I can guarantee you that that alcohol by volume is uh, it's about 14% to be fair and that was a lot of work each of these I have a process for winemaking that to be fair I would never give away but I always like to adjust depending on the berry of the vine or the Whichever in the fruit I may use, and eventually I am gonna be making some uh, some vegetable wines. I think that'll be really great for the future and future videos. Yeah, I have so many other wines I have made, and so many wines I do plan to make. But I just want to say that when I say I'm a winemaker, I really do mean it, and I don't do enough updates. And it's time to start doing more to show my worth and who I am. I say again, my name is Tyrone Farmer. I'm a winemaker, and I guarantee you, the way I'm coming, you're gonna love it. Soon enough, the world, whole world that I want to end up know and know me to say, hey, I'm here. I exist. This is what I create, and I really hope that I can, I can gain your subscription. And also, don't forget, I am a home cook, so please check out my home recipes. You really would love it. I'm gonna get this a shot to go and upload to my TikTok. Also, I do upload to Instagram and Facebook. And I'm going to upload this to my YouTube. Another view. Again, I'm going to repeat. 
This is a Chilean wine. This is a pineapple wine. This is a orange wine. This wine is made from red grapes. This wine is made from blueberries. And as I stated before, I have so many other wines that I've actually got storaged. These are the ones I want to show you guys today. All right. To my guy in the back, Bistro, we doing it, dog. All right. To me and my youngin. And to you, hopefully my new subscriber and my video viewer. To the next.